Hi everyone. Uh, today I want to talk to you about trust. I know it's a big word, but you know what? If you really feel it and if it comes from the inside and you live it, it's pure magic. And today, just today, I had this beautiful experience what trust really means. You see, I come from the horses. I'm a horse trainer and coach and um, I'm used to working with a lot of troubled horses. And, and this horse, his name is Hotspot. <laughs> he had this huge trailer loading trauma. You know, horses for all the horse, non-horse people here, horses need to go into horse trailers. And for some horses, because they're claustrophobic animals, it's just red flag, okay? They just don't want to do it. And there's other horses, they've had an accident in the horse trailer, just like Hotspot. So they have all the reason to say over my dead body, not going to do it. Anyway, we've already worked with Hotspot to the point where, where he, you know, could step into the trailer where we could even shut the bar. There's a bar behind the horse. We have to shut it. And then you can shut the gate in the horse trailer. Now the owners, they already practiced enough so they could do that, even shutting that thing. Now the next step would have been haul, hauling the horse. It's, and it's a big step. And I'm sure you've been to a point, you've done your work, you've done your homework, you've, you've done all the preparation, and then there's a point where there's nothing in between. You know where, what I mean? Like you've, you've done this all and then the next step is here. There's nothing in between. There's nothing in between. And that gap, that's where trust comes in. And this is where we need to trust today. Now the owner who've already experienced that trauma in the past with that horse, of course they didn't trust themselves and they could not yet trust the horse because they had still those images in their mind they were playing like an old broken record now this is you know because i show up because it's easier for me now i took over and i helped that horse feel safe and then what we did we shut that gate and then i told the owners all right i think he's ready and I couldn't say, I know he's ready because you never know, but I think he's ready. And we have to trust him, hotspot, he will, he will do it. I mean, the owners, they were still shaking in their boots and I don't blame them. But this is where you have to take over. You have to take over responsibility and you have to really give that horse all the trust because that's energy. We're talking energy, it's all frequency. And trust is a high frequency, folks. It's very, very high, but it has to come from the inside. Anyway, we trusted that horse enough and I trusted myself enough so that we said, let's do it, let's haul that horse. And we, I don't know, it was about 10 minute, 15 minute drive. He was fine. So he proved to us that our trust paid off. And that's an amazing experience. I know you've been there, maybe not with a horse, but with any other thing. So all I'm saying is once you did your homework and you know the next step, there's nothing in between, there's either this or that, you got to do it. You just got to step up and trust that you can do it. And then once you made it, it's like, it just gives you such a good feel. And you know what? That horse, I mean, he grew like, that much today and so did the owners so there's benefit for everyone who is involved and I just want to encourage you when you are at a, at a point right now where you've done it all now you have to take the next step take it take it even though you don't know 100% because you never know you never know you gotta do it and then let trust fill in the gap all right, that was my little story from today. Have a great one and catch you later.